a show that takes the seemingly simple task of filling one final admission slot and flips it upside down with all of the crazy perspectives that come into interview. Uh, some thank yous before we get started. First to Deb Mach, who's Meredith, and the entire stage crew for making this show possible. To my cast, who was very flexible with all the crazy scheduling, and a special shout out to Victoria Monroy for stepping into the role of Jason yesterday. Um, <laughs> uh, next to my assistant director, with whom I share a name, and she's incredible, Amanda Roth. Uh, the show would not have been possible without her. She was the second half of my brain during most of this, and was the best I could ever ask for. Um, so, without further ado, 13 Ways to Script for College Interview. Oh, one more thank you to my incredible parents for all of their love and support um, throughout the last four years in TS. This is my final contribution and the last time I step on this stage, so thank you all for coming. Thank you, TS, for everything. And I hope you guys enjoy the show.
black face paint stuff. Oh yeah, if you just sign this and check this box here, we'll make sure your likeness isn't used in any way. Again, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just that you have to be very careful these days. She signed it! Great, great, great! Hey, how are you? Okay, Kim. Remember, we're trying to be the next Jessica Simpson, the next fat guy in Vegas Luther, the next Sanjay. So up the awful factor. I want you to be loud and mean and rude. I want to hate you so much I can't look away. And action! I thought you said this before a documentary. Oh, God. Come on, lady. Can you just do your job and ask some questions? We all want this to be quick. Let's make this quick. But you said this before a documentary. Yes, it's a documentary. A series of documentary short films premiering on the T4 Network at 10 o'clock on Sundays. T4? The TV is a channel with those horrible shows about birthday drama queens and karaoke brats. Oh, good, you're a fan. Okay, just do your job, ask some questions, and we're out of here. No, I can't. I won't be on the channel. Should have looked at the contract then. Right. If you don't do this, you'll be fined twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand? Come on, just do your job, ask some questions, and we'll be out of your hair. Fine, fine. Let's just fine. Okay, Kim. Remember what we talked about. And action. Kim. It's pronounced Kimbarlay. No E. <laughs> hey, Kimbarlay. Why does anyone want to come to the school? First of all, to party. Second of all, to meet some totes hot guys. Like totes and totes. Totes, you say. Well, anything else you'd be interested in doing here? What major are you thinking about? What do you mean, major? Major? You know, your degree? What do you mean, degree? Like, how hot it is outside? No, you don't know what a college degree is? No. I'm totally dumb. But at least I'm not old, like you. Cut! That was perfect, kid. You were stupid and obnoxious. A totally terrible person. Just the kind of thing we like to see on reality TV. Oh, and when we do my confessionals, I should say how creepy the interviewer was, and that she was like hitting on me. I got some perfect shots of her that if you put in slow motion will make her look really creepy. Like lecherous and... Hi, is this Keenan? No? Just leave a message. Ask how you would feel if the university was doing a documentary.
I'm sorry, this is your college essay? That's right! But this is a picture of a girl with a pink dress saying, Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> um, okay, so let's see your transcript. You didn't take the SATs? That's right! And you have no GPA? Well now, how about that? But Kelly, I'm really wish you got to this point. You can't go to college without a GPA. Perhaps you'd like to see my recommendation? No, Kelly, there's no way any university would allow hours is going to do. This is a picture of a cat saying, meow.
often avoid garlic, eat lots of bloody meat, chew with my fangs, you know, all in the hopes that one day, if I'm diligent enough, I will turn into a vampire. <laughs> wow. Um, so what are you doing here? I mean, it's day. You're not supposed to be out during the day, right? Mm -hmm. That's a common stereotype. <laughs> Vampires, just like humans, can walk freely in broad daylight without even the slightest irritation to the skin. Okay, okay, I got it. So you're more like those flat like vampires. Is that an attempt at humor? No, no, mm -hmm. I... Because I don't find it funny. Frankly, I find it pretty insulting. And pretty vampirist. Vampires? Oh my god. Look, Elizabeth, there is no such thing as vampires. You're not going to turn it into one. Wow. That is probably the most insulting thing I've ever heard. I'm going to leave now. This is some kind of joke. Some is pretty good for this, didn't he? No, this is not a joke. This is very serious. And when I get a hold of the NVUA, you're going to have a public relations nightmare on your hands. The NVUA? National Vampire Union. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All vampires should be respected and given blood. <laughs> okay. Well, how about you go back to your little NVUA, and while you're there, I want you to say hi to Dracula, Lestat, and all those mighty talent kids for me. Oh, I will. Because we're just all the same to you. Honestly, I expected more out of this university. <laughs> A union for vampires? And the entire crowd was completely so. Oh man, wow. Needless to say, that was the last time I ever go to Sea World. Well, Ben, I've got to hand it to you. You have amazing essays. Solid gaze. And, well, your essay was, to be honest, quite moving. Well, what can I say? This is a great university. I'd be honored to attend. Hey, we'd be lucky to have you. So, are you thinking about your, Are you thinking about attending any other schools? No, just this one. Okay, great, great. So, Yes. I'm in? Well, no, not yet. You see, I have to pass this up to my sister. Three years in. It's a process, you know? Oh, I can't Is that a problem? That depends on you. You see, for reasons I can't entirely explain to you at this moment, it is vital that I attend this university. I have been meticulously planning this day for years. SAT prep, AP classes, cool on, all the notes of attending this university. I, I was intending on hearing an answer today. Well, Ben, I'm sorry, but I don't have the authority to just let you in right now. There are forces here at Cleveland. Forces you cannot possibly comprehend. No, it, it is vital for me, and for you, and the entire student body and faculty that I attend this university. Many lives hang in the balance. You don't want to be held responsible for loss of life, do you? Of course not, but how is me letting you in today gonna save lives? You don't understand. The world is a series of connections. Every human being affects another. Every decision, it's connected. So this decision is the most important one you ever make. Okay? Ben, you're being incredibly vague, and besides, it's not as simple as me letting you in. Oh, but an oral agreement is legally binding in the States, so yes. In fact, it is. Look, what I can tell you is that it's practically a done deal. I'm going to give you a great information. And with that, that's not that's to what I wanted to hear. And that's not really what was a great interview. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I get my answer. Well, you're going to have to because I have another prospective coming in at one. Oh, no, you don't. Because your 4 o'clock canceled and you don't have another appointment until 4.45 with Rebecca Smith. How do I mean? Did you break into my email or something? You know what? I don't know what happened here, but I'm going to have to call security. Hello? Hello? Phone troubles from? Oh, don't bother, the door's locked. And we're ten stories up, unless you're Superman. Who are you? Names are but labels, and I have many labels. That's not important right now. What is important is that you tell me exactly what I want to hear. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing this, you're doing this. <laughs> oh, don't worry, friend. Circuits break all the time.
Tell me. What? No. Just end it. Tell me what I want to hear. What? It won't? Oh, it won't change anything? Oh, it's just three little words. Just say it. This guy 